This is Chris Cornell. You done fucked up. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us front row seats to the clown show. It's been quite the ride, quite the fascinating ride. Forgive us our sins. We acknowledge your son, Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Okay, people, first I'd like to show you a quick picture. That's a post by Asia Argento, a brilliant commenter, reminded me of her words on my last video, words I neglected to mention. What does it say there? It says, uh, oh, first of all, it's a post by Asia Argento on Instagram. Happiest day of my life reunion with Jimmy Bennett. And this was the day, May 9, 2013, where she slept with him. Happiest day of her life. Okay. Okay. Now, what did I say in the last video? Bitch, is you trying to go to jail? I guess she is. Look at this. I knew this would happen. I knew this would happen. They made a deal with Mr. Bennett and his lawyer. We're going to pay you this money so dumbass Asia doesn't go to jail. Asia just reneged on that deal. That's why I titled the last video, Is You Trying to Go to Jail? Guess that's where she's going. Let's take a look. Accuser Jimmy Bennett will file sexual assault police report, and that is the absolute correct move because she's reneging on that deal. Anthony tried to keep her dumbass out of jail. I do wonder, though, at the end, did Anthony say to her, I'm not paying the rest of the money. I'm done with you. Fuck you. I do truly wonder that. Could that be the reason where she, you know, why she was wearing the t-shirt saying, fuck everyone, you know who you are, the day Anthony died, and then she takes the post down. I truly wonder if that's what she was upset about. Anyway, Asia Argento has just poked the bear because we've learned Jimmy Bennett, who was 17 when he had sex with her, is going to the L.A. County Sheriff's Department to file a sexual assault claim against her and cooperate with the investigation. Bennett, who is now 22, has been on the fence as to whether he'd cooperate with authorities, but he's now decided to go full steam ahead. We're told Bennett's tipping point was the statement Argento's lawyer released Tuesday attacking his character. You done fucked up. You done fucked up. Her dumbass lawyer, I mean her lawyer, Mark Heller, talked about Bennett's unfortunate past, stalled acting career, his desperation to seek money. Heller also referenced that Bennett had been a drug user. None of which matters. Um, the only thing that matters is she, she slept with a 17-year-old and gave him alcohol. That's all that matters. Bennett's lawyer, Gordon Satro, tells TMZ... The attack on my client's character has no bearing on the events that took place on May 9, 2013. Exactly. My point exactly. These are statements that are meant to intimidate, shame, and insult my client. Argento, who has accused Harvey Weinstein of rape, has been vocal in the Me Too movement about shaming alleged victims of sexual assault. Hmm. Seems she's flip the script these days. Something her lawyer did in a big way with Bennett. Exactly. Shaming the victim. Shame on you, Miss Argento. Shame on you. Argento's lawyer claims Bennett was a horny kid who jumped her in a hotel room. She says she did have sex with him, but implies it was not consensual because she was frozen. Um, I don't know about you, but that sounds like abject bullshit to me, and I find it fascinating 
that right after that statement or that paragraph in the article, they put this picture yet again, which is really the proof of what the encounter was actually like. There it is. Look at that. Look at that face. Doesn't look like a woman that got assaulted to me. Anyway. This photo was taken after the sexual encounter in the hotel room. Bennett's people say it flies in the face of Argento's claim she was not a willing participant. I would agree with that statement. And they point out this photo, which Argento, who was 37 when they had sex, posted in the hotel room before Bennett arrived. The caption reads, Waiting for my long-lost son, my love, Jimmy Bennett. In trepidation. Remember that? And she was chain-smoking cigarettes like there was no next week. Remember that part, too? The maximum penalty for statutory rape in California in a case involving a 17-year-old is three years in prison. I wonder if they'll add giving alcohol to someone who's underage to that. Would that be additional time or additional financial penalties? I truly wonder. Attorney Heller tells TMZ, Asia encourages anybody, including Bennett, <laughs> to come forward with any allegation concerning a sexual assault. And she is prepared to take any and all steps necessary to continue to protect her reputation and defend against any false allegations. Yes, they wrote the word continues there. I guess that's a typo or something. Well, exactly what I thought would happen yesterday is exactly what happened. Once she said she's not living up to her end of the deal, I expected this cooperation with police and investigators by young Mr. Bennett. Because that deal was intended to keep her dumb ass out of jail. But like I said yesterday, I guess she's trying to go to jail. And I hope she has the money to pay that lawyer, because I'm sure it ain't going to be cheap to fight this shit. And they're going to lose big fucking time. She got fired from her job. CNN pulled the episodes involving her in any way. Stick a fork in her. She's fucking done. It's over. And all you're doing with this bullshit Miss Argento, is ensuring that you'll go to fucking jail. That's it. Shut the fuck up and move to the Amazon or Africa like you promised. That would have been the wisest fucking move you could have made. Instead, now you're not going to pay the money. You're not going to live up to your end of the deal. And it wasn't even you paying the money, according to you. It was Anthony Bourdain. So, again, what I really think is going on here is she don't have the fucking money. That's why she had to turn to Anthony in the first fucking place. That's why she had to get work off of Anthony as well. It seems, despite all her Hollywood connections, her father, her roots in Hollywood, that she doesn't have that much money. But if she does have the money, I suggest you pay that shit and shut the fuck up and do the smart thing or else you're probably going to jail. And on top of it all, we already all know this, it, this just makes her look like an abject fucking hypocrite. She talked about shaming victims and all that. One of the loudest voices in the Me Too movement. Look at her now. Look at her now. Peace be ever with thee.